Hello friends, welcome to the Smart Excel. In this video, I'm going to tell you about how to use Power Pivot relationships. And if you're not good in VLOOKUPS or index match or DGET formula, so this video might help you in your tasks. So let's start. This is the same analysis which I'm doing breaking analysis. So directly I'll be telling you that I have already created tables. So these are the tables. So first I'll be showing you that revenue is selling price into units sold and variable cost is units sold into cost per unit. So I'll be showing you in these two areas without telling you too much about the things. So the same thing I'll be doing in power pivot. So I have already added this to data model so you can see the four tables are already converted into data models. So now I'll be starting is with the VLOOKUP. So what I, what I want is selling price into units sold. So banners are here. So the area is scattered here and banners are here. So revenue selling price into units sold. So I'll be starting with this as a revenue. Okay, now it will be like a VLOOKUP. So VLOOKUP value is this, and the VLOOKUP table area is here. So one and two, so this will be the second column. So what I want to do is second column, so it will be like two comma zero on the exact match. So the answer is here. So if you want to get cost it 2000, 2212 and 44.2 banner small is 44.2 so now i want to get a revenue will be like this multiplied by this i got the answers the second will be the same thing units cost into cost per unit so either i can make here or i can make here so i'm making the extra column here and i will be making this as variable cost So I'll be using index match in this. First, I'll be doing a match. What I want to do is the same VLOOKUP formula. So match this and in this area, comma. I want an exact match. So this is going to be the area. It's showing only the rows. So I'll be giving it an index. So index. So the index area is the area I want to select it. So I'll be giving a comma. So I don't have a column number. So I'll be giving a the banner is 78.312. If you want to check this, the banner is 78.31. So I'll be doing one. Okay, now I want to multiply this with units sold here only. So what we'll be doing is we to yes. So I'm getting down this fast because it's a table. Now I'm going to go to power field. Already I'm going to data model, so I'm going to manage. So the tables are already here. Now the same thing I'll show you how to if you do, if you don't have this column. I don't want to delete it, but if you don't want to use this column, how to do the same thing in Power Pivot? That is through function, a related function. So it will be like equal to selling price multiplied by units sold and units sold. Unit so unit so this is the unit so area. So it's a given error. So selling price is in the same list. So unit so is in the another tab. 
So we need to use a related function using this. So I'll be closing the parenthesis. So I'm getting an error. I'll show you how to resolve that. Now I'm coming to units sold. Cost per unit into units sold. So it will be like. This already have a range here. And this will be a variable cost. cost. And I'm writing this as two. It will be like equal to equal to units units sorry either I can check this or I can take this also multiplied by so if I want to go to this column I'll be writing related in the beginning only Closing the parameters. But still, I'm getting an error because we don't have a relationship between these two tables. So I can create a relationship from here. But I would like to go to do through a diagram view. So you can see it's in the error, and you can see it's an error. So to resolve the error, we have to create a relationship. So then it has gone here. So when I have a relationship with this table, this will be gone. So you can see it has gone. Now you can see the so you can see the answers are same. And here also you can see the answers are almost the same. So this is the easiest way to create a relationship but what is happening is if you try to delete the relationship the relation if you it's a managed relationship if you try to delete any of this relationship you will see the consequences it gives an error so the need to have a manage the relationship so it's like you can create from here also the selling price into unit sold so this item description that is common area. So you can see the answers are here. So I hope you find this video useful. And from here also you can create a pivot table. And you know how to do those things. So I would like I would request you to share this video so the benefits of using a related, tip, a related table and how to create relationship is understood by many so the next videos i'll be showing how to do the same thing you can do the same things to merge for it in power query so thanks for watching this video and please subscribe to my channel please like please comment and see you in the next video thank you very much